guys, got another little project here that I'm working on, getting ready to start on actually. We've got two sprockets, these are two motorcycle sprockets. And what I've got to do is the hubs that sticks out on each side, those need to be faced off on both sides. You've got to just face them off. Uh, they don't need the hubs on there. The, uh, apparently they sent them the wrong sprocket, but they want to use these to get, get the job done. So the, the spline on the inside and the, you know, the sprocket itself is the right, it's just the hubs are wrong. So I was thinking about making a little jig for these to go in to hold them, but you've got a, a 15 tooth and a 16 tooth. So the 15 tooth sprocket, I'll be able to hold in my three jaw chuck easy and face it. The 16 tooth, I can't use a three jaw because it won't line up with the, with the teeth here. But uh, instead of going through the, the time of making the jig, I think I'll probably just use the four jaw chuck on this one and indicate it since it's just a one, uh, one piece. If I had more of these to do, or if I was doing these regularly, I would probably make a jig to put them in. And, and this is what I'm talking about. This is one that I made for another sprocket that I had to work on a while back. And, and what I did is I counterboard this piece of aluminum for the sprocket to, to just fit in there and stay concentric and then I use three bolts to uh, hold the hold the sprocket down flat in there to do the machine work so and I had even dug up a, another piece of aluminum to make one with but so we're just going to use the chucks and uh, should be a pretty quick little job shouldn't take that long so let's go ahead and get over there we're going to use the Victor and we'll get started on All right, just uh, repeat for this other side here. Okay, one more little cut to make. Okay, that one feels good and the tool seems to be doing pretty good that's some pretty tough stuff there you got chrome plating you got to cut through and on top of that you know it's probably a case hardened part so it did pretty good all right now I'm gonna start on the 16 tooth what I'm gonna do is chuck one side of this and get one side faced off 
And then I will set up the four jaw chuck. Okay. Okay, got the four jaw mounted and I've got it very lightly chucked in there. So what I'm going to do now, I've got these little brass pieces here, got a bunch of these things. <clears throat> and what I want to do, yep, well, alright I got to go back and fix this, thought I had it snug. It's going to be very tedious right here, but it's just one simple facing op, so that's why I'm going through the trouble of doing this. If you had aluminum <clears throat> soft jaws that you could machine, it makes it even easier. I've never, I've never made a set before. Okay. I want to put these brass pieces in here like that so that I don't damage the sprocket and the brass is soft enough it'll kind of conform to the points there and if when I get it centered up good it should be flat on two of the two of the uh, sprockets on the teeth I mean So let's go ahead and get it indicated. I'll grab my indicator. All right, it's really not out too far. I want to go ahead and see if I can get the the face bumped in first. Not bad. So we're about 11 or 12 thousandths out right there. Y'all see that? I think you can. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me go grab a, let me go find a good hammer we can use for this. All right, we'll try my little plastic hammer first. if it's going to do the job there. Not really moving it, it's just bouncing off of it. 
afraid to uh, hit it too hard. So that's just over a thousandth right there. All right, let me try it again. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. We're about a thousandth. Let me go ahead and get the uh, OD trued up. Not bad. I mean, it's, it's close enough for what we're doing there. That's 1,000's run out. I think we can live with 1,000's on that. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and start facing it, and I hope it doesn't move. Finally got my tool bit right there. Tell you what, we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna swap this out. I got a good trigon insert. This is an is car already ready to roll, so I'll try that. So far the is car tool is working okay also. So maybe it'll hang in there so we can finish this. Ok. 
Okay, should be one more cut. It did okay. I can definitely see some a little bit of wear on the nose there. But that's some pretty tough stuff. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna call that one done. I am gonna pull out a little one of my little Swiss files and go in there and just kind of deburr the the uh, the spline in there. It tried to roll a little bit of a an edge, so I'm gonna go in there and dress those up. Just doing some filing there on the on the splines there. Um, trying out these files that Mike had sent me. I've seen those a while back in the viewer mail. I pulled out some some of the old the Nicholson Swiss files and that set there it only had a few left in it. So I remember Mike had sent me that, so I went over there and grabbed them. Just just doing a little bit of deburring where that tool had Roll that edge in a little bit. And these seem to be working fine. It's doing good. Alright, I got them all filed up. I about wore out that little round file that was in that, that set, the little uh, file set. But this, these are pretty tough. And I mean, they're always tough like this. They, uh, they harden them. I believe they're case hardened. So uh, anyway, I got them deburred. So two sprockets done. And that's it. I'll call them and let them know they're ready. All right, so. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next job, okay? Later on.